I'm Trip. And I'm Ash. And this is our Ford Transit conversion build. <laughs> Come join us on our adventures. Uh -oh. No, no, I'm not dizzy again. Hey everybody, welcome back to my build. I'm back in the transit. We'll find never left. And today, we're gonna do some more wiring. And in the last video, we messed up the fan wiring. Now we need to mess with the, the lights. A bunch of these little LED lights I'm gonna put in the ceiling. So I need to map those out and run some wires. So the plan is, is there's, there's going to be like a counter slash sink here and that's where I want the, the light switch so when you come in the door and, and you find the switch which means I got to want a wire to a switch here going up the wall to my pot lights so that's where I need to start. coming up down there. There's gonna be like here, blue, blue, and here. Now I gotta do the same for the back four. Okay I got the, the wires ran in the wheel. So let's test these things out. Of course every loop is going to be a light but I just have a light on the end of the socket for a while. Get my trusty battery. Of course it's raining again, but at least it gives me the chance to test out my seals and the fans, see if they leak. They're good so far. One day it started raining and it didn't quit for four months. So I was out back working on the van, some, some more pots came in, Get some more sound dampening mat, some switches, and a battery meter. Now my battery is supposed to come in today at some point. It's four something. It's trying to show up. Better show up. Now I'm going to start messing with the isolator wiring and remove the seat. That way I can put another battery in there. Guess two is better than one. Guess what I'm messing with the battery stuff. Aston is going to do the sound editing. Because we got more I even took the sliding door cover off that way you can put some sound dampening back there. We done. Exploring. You can help. And get shot. Hey, my battery just showed up and she's heavy. Hopefully she fits in that hole. Looks awfully big. Fit. Shove it, step on it, kick it. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, got the battery in, I got everything wired. Got the isolator down here. It's, it's like it was like a little spot, like it was meant to be. Got the power wire running to the back, but I don't have it connected yet. I'm gonna wait until I get some of that wired up before I send the hot wire back door. I even made a little cardboard shield, make sure nothing's orcs. Still got power, so it's a good sign. Driver seat's back in. Ashley's almost done with the sound deadening. She even put some in the door. Now she's putting some in the back door. Also, we just made an awesome discovery that I didn't know we had. We got a swivel seat. This is something that I wanted to get anyway. I just didn't know we already had one. So that's an awesome plus. But unfortunately, I can't really go too much farther on the wiring until the it's insulated and boarded up. Where I got wall, ceiling, roof, and all that stuff. So more wiring will be coming later in a future episode. But once I did get back to wiring. I'm going to run the power wire to inline fuse, to a kill switch, to the fuse box. Then it's going to spider out to some switches. Let's go to like the lights and the fan. So somewhat simple setup, but I need walls and stuff before I can put that stuff in. So I kept this episode a little bit shorter. And the next episode, we're going to be working on the floor. We're going to insulate it, start laying down some wood. So, we'll see you then. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like it. And also subscribe. And also hit that notification bell down here somewhere. Looks like a bell. I don't think it jingles. And if you're quarantined like me, stuck at home, nothing to do. Well, I got plenty of things to do. Uh, you can check out one of my other videos where I fix or break things or crash or everything else. Um, but, uh, but until then, stay safe, have fun, don't do anything I would do. Peace out.